So what about, um, is everybody already wearing that outfit? No, this guy still has a black vest. I, I, a black vest, rather. I think the problem here is that the quality of some of these items is too high. Yeah. Wait, no. Huh? So I have recon armor for you, but you're wearing a flag vest. Did I never set up your... Why are they not wearing it? So I have a recon helmet. Is the quality not good enough? Ah, these are exactly at 50%. This guy's at 90% though. Do they prefer... Do they prefer the flag vests that are higher quality? Over recon armor? I think I should disallow recon armor at this point in the game, actually. Maybe that's the easiest way to do it. Or not recon armor, sorry, uh, flak. Yeah, I think I'm gonna disallow that. They don't like wearing tainted gear? Stuff that other people have worn? I see. Well, you guys better put on some good gear. There we go. Now they're switching them out. It means somebody died while wearing them, so people don't like to wear them. They don't like wearing stuff that other people have died in. See, they have morals. It's incredible. I wonder what that's like. <laughs> yeah, cringe. Imagine having morals. Maybe they should wash them. That's a good point. So I am planning on mining out the entire mountain. Hmm. It's a bit funky. I don't think this needs to be the home zone. No, this is not the home area. Um. I'm gonna mine out the entire mountain, and I've got some wooden columns that I built that are supposed to support the entire mountain. Is that a reasonable thing? I'm not sure what the rules are, really. Okay. Yeah, can you carry a mountain on wood? Nestorius Obato, a knight of the Shattered Empire, is having trouble landing near Bowser's castle due to repeated infestations. He wants to draw the bugs to you. Two champions will be placed under your control. Dude, this is an easy quest. Easiest quest I've ever seen. Well, accept it. The champions have arrived. Okay, so the infestation is in Daisy and Luigi's bedroom. Ay ay ay. I don't even think I'm gonna use the champions to be honest. Mostly because you can accidentally shoot them. And shooting the Empire is a bad habit. Yeah, the master bedroom, dude. Oh, Luigi, what are you doing here, buddy? You don't have any gear. You just... <gasps> oh, Luigi's actually getting fucked up. Uh, Luigi, you were not supposed to be here. You're... I meant to put Daisy in the room, and Luigi was supposed to be outside of the room. Luigi is not capable of violence. Mario. Please stun the guy that's attacking him right now. Daisy? No, I guess Yoshi. Release the animals. <gasps> Don't freaking tell me Luigi is gonna die. Oh, 
Oh no. Dude, if Luigi dies, I'm so screwed. My whole love story would be wasted. This is sadder than Romeo and Juliet. Okay, Mario is not taking care of Luigi. Okay, I think we're okay. Oh, I thought for a second it said that Yoshi, or not Yoshi, Luigi has died. Okay, carry him to the bedroom. How's the rest of you doing? This guy has got a minor case of asthma, that's okay. No immediate danger, dead in 11 hours. Uh, prioritize tending to Luigi, please, Mario. Okay, Mario is no longer in any... Oh, Luigi is immediately gonna get up and get rid of, or, okay, get help for these other people. Alright. That was a bit of a mess, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't think that that was gonna be so messy. Where's your gun, Peach? Peach is incapable of violence. Okay. Sorry about your bedroom, by the way, Luigi and uh, Daisy. It's a bit of a mess. I think the smell will go away on its own. So I hope the mountain will actually stay upright. Yeah, I should just get a carpet clean. Exactly. It's like dropping a milkshake in your car, you know? Like, at some point, you will barely notice it. Except the milkshake is, you know, insect blood. Luckily, you sometimes share food with your cats? Sometimes. They're very picky about what they eat, though. Like, sometimes I get food that I think is really nice, right? Like, say I get, like, a bit of steak or whatever. I rarely eat steak, but it happens every once in a while. And I give them, like, the tiniest little bit, and they, like, smell it, and they're like, Nah, bro. Don't want this shit. Give me my kibble instead. I, um, I don't quite understand their priorities, but... Yeah, they're, they're not... No. Cheese? They don't mind cheese, yeah, but I know cheese is not very good for them. They don't actually... Yeah, they don't actually beg for, for food. Yeah, maybe that's it, J-Dog. I always had dogs growing up, and dogs are, uh... They eat whatever, man. They're always begging. That's actually one of the really nice things. One really good argument... ...for dogs, or for cats over dogs, right? The fact that cats don't really beg for food very much is really quite nice. Maybe I've also had- I've always had dogs that are just, you know, whiny, but... I kind of like uh, that my cats do not constantly beg for food. Have I ever considered getting pet pigs? No, no. Imperial trader from the Empire. She likes a greenish bluish carpet apparently. Ooh, it was that one. A moss-colored carpet, sorry. What did I call it? Greenish, bluish? Kind of cringe, loco. It's moss. Yeah, my cats are a little dumb sometimes. They're very routine-based. More so than dogs that I've had, so... Like... Sometimes my cats are, like, very excited for food. Just because they always get, say, for example, lunch around that time, right? So, like, every day around 1 p.m., I usually give them food. And very frequently, Milo is begging me, starting at, like, noon or so. So, an hour before he's supposed to get food, that he wants to get food, and that it's almost time for me to get him food. And then I finally put it down in front of him, and he's like, mm, I'm not very hungry. Nah, I don't drink. Nah, it's fine. Like, it's just a routine. 
I'm also very routine driven for what it's worth. Yeah. He wants the option. Yeah, exactly. Which is a bit strange. But, uh, yeah. I have excellent cataphract armor. Hmm. This guy sells a bunch of yak. You want to buy insect jelly? Oh, please get rid of it. Oh shit, that's actually worth quite a bit of money. Holy crap! I didn't realize the insect jelly was worth that much. I've never had a trader show up at this time. Huh. Interesting. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Alright. Yeah, I have a bunch of research that needs to be done. I'm currently researching the Johnson Tanaka Drive, which I think is one of the parts for making a ship. This kind of hype. I think we get to make a, uh, a spaceship. Do I, by the way, still have any, any animals in this pen? No, I don't. I don't have any animal. No, Milo is just kind of a beggar in general for food, but... Like, you know, for, for, for routine. Toby is kind of chill. Milo is a bit, uh... He's a bit weird. Yeah, exactly. I get it, George. But they don't even really seem to like it very much. They steal food? Wait, your cats steal food from you? Like when you're not paying attention or whatever? That's funny. Oh, I have circadian half cycles. I wanted to give this a try on my cleaners. So there's a couple of things that I can install on these guys' heads. I don't really know how, but I have these circadian half cycles, which are apparently devices that get implanted into your brain, at which point you no longer have to sleep. It's just that they become kind of sluggish in the process, I think, permanently, but... Aww. Are you thinking about getting another cat at some point, Echo? Oh, circadian half cycler. I'm gonna install it. I have four of them. And I'm gonna install them in my cleaners and haulers. Which I think is a good idea. Wait, I needed five. I thought I had four. All right, fine. Just install them. A whole litter of cats? Hype. You and your girlfriend were looking to adopt two kittens when we move. Oh, okay, sick. That is very nice. Goombussy, do you have it? An installed circadian half one. Yes. So does that mean that he no longer needs a bedroom? Because he no longer needs to sleep. I don't know what that really exactly does. So it's a signal redirector which isolates half of the brain, allowing the other half to sleep while the user remains outwardly awake. By alternating brain halves, the user never needs to sleep. Working with half a brain causes a reduction in consciousness. Uh, we had a bunch of those, Big Dodo. I have failed so many times before this particular run that... 
Well, things got a bit messy. But it looks like things are better now. If Mario dies, are my no no no, I don't I wouldn't end the playthrough. If you do, they will land at Bowser's castle. A whole lot of enemies. And a whole lot of plasteel and yeah, I'm gonna take this. This these are pretty big er enemy uh, or groups of enemies though. Toxic spewer initiates in 5.8 days. I don't know what that means. But I think we need to rearm the mortar. Do we use EMP shells? Does that work on them? No, I think we use fire or high explosive and incendiary, right? Just let it spew loco? No, 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 no. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Oh, no, 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 wrong way, buddy. Okay. Hit it. Good. These guys are so mad right now, dude. Oh, there's a centipede blaster. I've never even seen those before. Are we winning? I have never won a round of RimWorld. And I kind of feel like we are getting to a point where I'm being cautiously optimistic about potentially winning the game. Now, I did drop down the difficulty level one in between this run and the previous because I kept failing in the early game. But, um, we have gotten a lot further this time around. I think I can make it. Yeah. Time to turn on the Twitch integration. I don't know about that. Hey, by the way, do you guys now all have these things in your head? Circadian half cycler, circadian half cycler. Yeah, my guys all have it. Okay, so the Toxic Spewer is dead. Mad Bisons? The heck? Okay, well these guys are just gonna walk into the traps. I don't know when they're gonna attack me. I'm assuming they will be attacking me here at some point, but... I don't really want to go out and meet them, though. One or 891 days old. Oh, these are auto charge turrets. Wait, they're turrets? Ah, yikes. Bowser! Hit the turrets right over there. Mortars are a great way to say hello to your neighbors. I can wholeheartedly recommend them. I don't know what happens though with these guys. Oh, they don't really take damage from fire? I see, so they only took damage, I guess, from the explosion. Do I just leave them out here? Okay. They may very well be attacking me at some point. 
I don't think I want to fight into the turrets. This is kind of like cannon, like the, your opponent making a bunch of cannons in their natural. And even though you could just ignore it, you decide to engage. I feel like you should never engage it. Yeah, if there's an enemy attack wave coming in from the left right now, these turrets are gonna help me out. <laughs> Which is kind of a funny concept, really. Thwomp really is carrying a lot of... What do you... Thwomp. Thwomp, buddy. That plus steel is off limits. Everybody is only allowed in sight. Jeez. Thwomp was just about to fucking go and pick up a little bit of plus steel right over here. Idiot. Good thing I saw it. This will be, uh, the outside area. We'll allow it. Hey, recruitment efforts are gonna begin with Rushi. I'm excited. What are we gonna call Rushi? What's going on, Skeneth? Hello, hello. I'm open to suggestions. Let's call him Rushy SC. I don't know about that one. That's a horrible nickname. Don't like that at all. We should call him the Rainbow Road. <laughs> Rushy can be the Rainbow Road. Yeah, that's beautiful, man. He needs to be themed in the Mario universe. The Rainbow Road. We already have Thwomp. Thwomp is actually a key member of our uh, settlement here. I think because of that, he is gonna get a nice uh, improvement. He likes a light blue carpet. I am gonna give you a light blue carpet, mate. Sky blue, sorry. Apparently my colors are not very good. New recruit, Rush! That's beautiful, man. His title is Illegal Shipwright. Um, Rush, you are also only allowed inside. You are a fighter, even though you have no fighting skills. But since you're not incapable of violence, this is what we do. You're not getting to doctor, you get to cook, you get to construct. That's all you get to do. And you can do some cleaning and hauling, I guess, whenever you need to, but... Those are not the priorities. Cool. Look, what do you think of the name Dandelion? Uh, it's decent, I guess. No strong opinion, dude. What's going on, Mr. Mot Lycus? Yo! What up? It's your boy, Mot Like Eyes. I think I'm gonna make my kill box bigger. Some of you will argue that it's not the size of the kill box that matters, but how you use it. I strongly disagree. I was thinking about making a singular kill box, but I think I need to make two. Quest available. Okay. I guess for this one, actually, I'll um, cut it off over there. Mm, we need to cut it off one further. Just to make it identical, you know? Symmetry is critical, as I'm sure you all are well aware. A uh, new quest available, Brigand Camp. She has sent us a message, apparently tribes people based in the nearby camp have been raiding their caravans. Foxy is asking us to destroy the camp. Nah, dude. You decided to start attacking me. 
Um, I am not helping you out. Is this even in the right spot? It's not. I was gonna say, something's cursed. Seda has been attacking me. I, I hold grudges. I fixed it. Yeah, I did fix it. This is too thick, isn't it? That's what she said? Really? I don't believe that for a second. Alright. So are these guys never going to attack? Just talking about your waist. Oh man, that's kind of sad. It's not symmetrical? Wait, is it not? Do I have to cut one off over here? No. Oh, I have to add an extra one. Struggling. <laughs> hold up, hold up. No, like this is fine, no? I think like this is fine. Are we in agreement? On the left, it goes to left, then down. Oh yeah, something is cursed. What the fuck's cursed? Hold up right now. And then it goes down from there, right? So it should be like this. That looks very cursed, though. I guess I can line it up like that, and then it would be fine, but... That looks worse, somehow. That looks worse! This is technically symmetrical, yeah. Alternatively, I could drag another two walls over here. Look at what you like, a few bees? A few bees? I don't even know what that means. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll think about it for a little bit. We'll come back to this in a moment. Do, 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 do. I guess I have to do two down like that. I guess that's the best way to do it. Yeah. Don't love it. Would I like a few Bs? I have no idea what you're saying, Shadarki. The letter B is... Eh. 
It's decent. I could also carry the angle all the way down. Absolutely. But then my kill box would be a bit of a mess. Imperial Trader is approaching. Yo, can you guys take care of- Oh! Well. Hold up right now. A royal- Hey, so this is the Royal Tribute Collector. And they just spawned in on these enemies. Am I in trouble if these guys die? I don't know what the rules are. Because they are the tribute collector. I think I may summon the troops for a moment. I'll try to help them out. What are you guys fighting each other for? Oh wait, no, there's a Scyther over there in the front. Okay. I'll get to you guys in a moment. Yeah, see? People are dying over here. Even though it's not my fault, they're dying in my base. Oh god. Rush. And Goom Goom. Dude, they're all on the floor. Maybe I should have taken care of this, guys. Okay. There's one guy remaining. A centipede blaster. Uh, we should go ahead and rescue them. A hundred percent if we can. Because them dying would be bad. Bunch of them have died. Actually, we'll let somebody else take care of it. Um, I need to make sure that you guys are unrestricted again. Are you guys alright, by the way? Dead in six hours. No, Rush is not okay. Rush is dying in a few hours. Luigi, I need you to go and take care of, um, of Rush. How much did my relationship just go down with the, the, the Empire? I don't know, man. I'm assuming these are all... No. I figured that all of these would not be uh, accessible for me, but I guess they are. Okay. Luigi just tackled Rushy. And he got... Uh... Okay. He got it done. Whew. Okay. What do you guys sell? Or what do you guys want to have, I guess? I'm running out of cash. I do have a million cloth at this point, though, which is kind of nice. I've been buying a lot of it, but... Um, I have lots of jade. What do I need jade for? I have no idea. I'm gonna sell a bunch. For statues and stuff and sculptures? Okay, yeah, no, I'm gonna sell a bunch of that. I have a lot of uranium too. What do I do with uranium? I don't have any drugs for sale, actually. Maybe I should be manufacturing those. That sounds a bit cursed, but I mean, I don't mean it in a bad way. 
It's just nice for, uh, you know, our bank. Yeah, I have a little bit, but I'm not really manufacturing it myself. Okay. So from the inner spot over here, I added an extra four squares. And then this one extended out how much? Three. Okay. Just like so. And then I double walled it. So there's two on the left and then we start going down. Like so, right? I want to make this symmetrical, obviously. Because symmetry is beautiful. I think we all know that. No, all jokes aside, imagine having not a symmetrical kill box. That would just be embarrassing. Oh my god, this might get really hot. Okay, almost really hot. Pretty hot still, though. Why am I struggling? <laughs> What's going on right now? <laughs> Guys, something went terrible. It's the little squares that are throwing me off here. Oh, it looks really wrong. Is it fine? Last one needs one more. Loco, are you okay? Are you okay, Loco? Loco, are you okay? Are you okay, Loco? Look, are you okay? Okay. I guess that works. You've been hit by... You've been struck by a smooth criminal. Ow! Okay, sorry. Sorry, that was unnecessary. Didn't mean to be loud. Are you okay? I think you're okay, memory. Absolutely. Did I stop my toe? No, I had to do a half twist for that one. Ow! Yeah, it's... Painful, but I do it for the stream. Anything for the stream. You've been hit by a truck? No, 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 no. I am doing quite all right, okay? Rainbow Road! He's got a trivial case of malnutrition. That's no good. Our newest member needs to be fed. It's been 3.1 days since he last had human meat. Booty squats for the stream. Yeah, I'm changing into a lacy bikini when we reach the sub goal, by the way. Did Brian just completely ignore your terrible message to Shodarki? Very nice. Shodarki just completely fucking ghosted. Completely ghosted by Brian.
bikini time? Well, that's that's how you get subs in 2024, no? No, there's no lazy bikini, guys. I lied to you. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Thank you for the 500 bits, uh, Shadurki. I do appreciate it. I think I'm gonna put a golden carpet in my throne room. A fine... Pastel orange? No, we'll do a fine carpet. Or a mustard? No, we'll do a fine orange carpet. Because I think I already have the other one. Ooh! Construct a Johnson Tanaka drive for the ship. The JT drive can push you to other stars. Hype, dude. Yeah, that's a lot of cloth. It's gonna take a long, a long time. You were just about to give 25 so You wanna see me in a lazy bikini that bad? I'll take that as a compliment. A bit of a conflicting compliment, but a compliment nonetheless. I have seen those streams on Twitch, though. During my uh, research. Streams that promise lacy bikinis when the sub goal is met for the day. Now, I haven't stuck around for long enough to figure out if there actually is a lacy bikini, but... Um, they definitely do exist. You haven't seen those stream? You only want to see me in that outfit, right? Yeah, I appreciate that, man. Thanks for the commitment. No, no, no. I don't want to set any false expectations. Okay. Um, so, the Johnson Tanaka drive. Uh, under the ship category? The ship engine. There it is. A reactionless Johnson Tanaka drive capable of launching a ship into orbit and crawling across the vast expanse between stars. Can I move it once it's built? I think I want to build it over here. You can't move it. How much space do I need? I think I want to build it over here, so if it gets really vertical, I can still move it, you know? I don't really know exactly how much space I'm really going to need, but... At least I want to leave some room above this particular location. Guys, this is the beginning of the spaceship. Do I just plant it down like so? I don't know. It's a very expensive unit. A lot of plus steel, a lot of uranium. A lot of advanced components. I actually don't know if I have plus steel. More plus steel would be really nice. I do have lots of uranium, by the way. I'm keeping up an entire mountain right now on a bunch of columns. Neat concept. Have we tried doing that in real life? Just building a wooden support and then cutting out the entire bottom section of a mountain. <whistles> Luigi has got some tattered apparel. You're not wearing any clothes. How can your apparel be tattered? Luigi, stop wearing pants. You're a nudist. Did you forget? Jeez, Louise. He's an optimist and a nudist. We cut out the bottom section and... Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. We did cut the bottom section out of uh, Moria. Yeah, we're still suffering the consequences of that. Hey, an offering opportunity is coming up. I don't think I have anybody to offer, though. Maybe it's just a ceremony. Yeah, you need a prisoner. I don't have a prisoner at the moment. 
I would do a little bit of sacrificing, of course. But I don't have anybody to sacrifice. I also don't have a bedroom currently for Rushy. What about we Harry Potter him and we just... Hmm. I guess I can make this into a bedroom over here. I think that's what we'll do. I think I'm gonna move my television screen. I'm moving the TV room. I have to get rid of the TV room, guys. I know it's a sad moment, but I think we have to get rid of it just because Rushy needs to have his own bedroom. The Rainbow Road. And then I'm gonna move these guys over to the right. Combat supplier. Rainbow Road is a food binge again? Dude, he keeps food binging. Gooby doesn't really have good social skills though, does he? No. We're not doing any trading with you. This guy sells loads of junk. I have a bunch of flag fest right now that I can get rid of. Because we're upgrading. I'll buy a marine helmet. And a recon helmet. No, that's that one I already have. Okay. No, so the guys that don't sleep anymore do have their bedroom still. So I'm not sure exactly what I do with it. They don't use their bedrooms? Maybe I need to force a little bit of time to sleep though. Oh, maybe... Do I have to move them off the sleep schedule? I actually think I do. I'm fairly sure they're still going to the bedroom right now. We'll have to have a look. Yeah, I think I have to move them off. Uh, there is also still one guy who does not yet have a circadian half cycler. I think that's Goomba, yeah. The original. We gotta install that in his head too. Now they get benefits for being in their bedrooms. So I think I still need to basically have them in their beds for like maybe two hours or so a day. Or maybe just one hour. They still need rooms, but not a comfortable bed. That makes sense. Hey, I'm sell- Oh, I'm making corsets now. Look at that. This one is worth so much money. $147. I'm looking forward to having hundreds of corsets in my storage. Finally, I'm going to use up all my leather. Great time. Great time. So this is going to be the bedroom over here. I got some stuff that needs to be moved. We'll see how it goes from here. We're making corsets out of human leather. Yes, I've got thousands upon thousands of human leather. Look, I don't want to talk about it sadly, but I, f I feel like you're going to judge me for it. But I do have a lot of human leather in my uh, storage. Yes. Now I ask you not to judge. I know it'll be difficult. Because everybody's always like, oh, Loco, how did you get that human leather? Why do you have so much of it? Look, sometimes things happen. And they happen for a reason, okay? And yes, I am making corsets out of the letter that I have. Now, I feel like that's a completely reasonable... Reasonable thing. But not everybody agrees. You gotta use every part. Exactly. Like, you use up every part of, I don't know, a buffalo? A yak? Nobody bets an eye. 
You use up every part of a human, suddenly I'm the bad guy? Okay, chat. No, just yeet it into the floor. That's a better idea. That seems like a waste. Just dig a hole, put him in there. We gotta use what is available to us in these desperate times. I'm hoping I'm selling you guys on cannibalism. <laughs> Do you feel convinced? Do you kind of get the feeling like, hey, you know what, he's got a point. That's what... <laughs> That's what I'm going for today. Pick up some after work? Okay. I recommend personally human meat with rice and then a little bit of rhino meat on the side. But that's just me, eh? Everybody's got a preference. <laughs> yeah, this is a fire hazard over here. We gotta change a couple of things. I will add a steel tall over here. Um, I will make Rushy. What is your favorite color? Oh, gray. Like a, like a light gray. Beautiful. Everybody's favorite color. Imperial trader from the Empire? Dude, I have so many traders showing up, it's insane. <laughs> 